In this video, we are going to talk about cell adaptation. Cell adaptation refers to changes taking place in a cell in response to environmental changes. Normal functioning of the cell is always threatened by various factors such as stress and chemical agents. Yet, the cell survives and continues the function by means of adaptation. Now we will discuss about the mechanism of cell adaptation. It includes atrophy, hypertrophy, hyperplasia, dysplasia, metaplasia and neoplasm. So first of all, we will discuss about atrophy that is basically the decrease in the size of the cell. The causes of atrophy include poor nourishment, decreased blood supply, lack of exercise or workload, loss of control by nerves or hormones, and intrinsic disease of the tissues or organ. It can be physiological and pathological. Now we will discuss about hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is increase in the size of the cell. It has three types. The first is the physiological hypertrophy, where there is increase in the size of the cell because of increased workload or exercise. The examples are muscular and ventricular hypertrophy. The second is the pathological hypertrophy, where there is increase in the size of the cell in response to pathological changes. The example is ventricular hypertrophy, that is in response to high blood pressure. The third one is compensatory hypertrophy that includes the increase in the size of the cells in order to compensate the loss or dysfunction of another organ of the same type. The example is the hypertrophy of the kidney when the other kidney fails to function properly. Now we will discuss about hyperplasia. Hyperplasia is increase in the number of cells due to increased cell division called mitosis. It has three types. The first is the physiological hyperplasia, that is increase in the number of cells because of physiological changes. The best example for physiological hyperplasia is proliferative phase of menstrual cycle. The second one is pathological hyperplasia, that is increase in the number of cells due to increased cell division in response to pathological changes. The best example for this is gigantism, that is basically the overgrowth of the body in response to hypersecretion of growth hormones. This is all because of hyperplasia. The third one is compensatory hyperplasia. Compensatory hyperplasia is increase in the number of cells in order to replace the damaged cells of an organ. The best example for compensatory hyperplasia is the regeneration of liver. Now we will discuss about dysplasia. Dysplasia is the abnormal change in size, shape and organization of the cell. The examples for dysplasia include epithelial cells of cervix and respiratory tract. It is very common in these two locations. Now we will discuss about metaplasia. Metaplasia is the condition in which there is replacement of one type of cell with another type of cell. It is of two types. The first one is physiological metaplasia. The best example for this is the transformation of cartilage into bone. The second type is pathological metaplasia. The best example of this is the formation of lung cancer when exposed to the chronic smoking. Now we will discuss about neoplasm. Neoplasm is the abnormal growth of tissue or organ. It can be benign that is non-cancerous or it can be malignant that is cancerous.